everyone. I just got back from the gym. Uh, I went to my Orange Theory class, which I've been really liking lately, but today was like my fourth day in a row going and I'm honestly like wiped out. Today is the day after my birthday and a couple of my friends from Denver have come to visit us. They're sleeping right now. They're very late sleepers, but we were gonna do a bunch of things this weekend and I thought I would take you guys along for the ride. I just got this camera, it's the Sony ZV-1 like vlog camera and I'm really excited to try it out. And I've been wanting to incorporate vlogs into my like channel lately. So I figured this was kind of the perfect time to test it out, try it out. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I am gonna go shower in a bit here. Just wanted to come down and introduce the vlog to you guys. There's my cat in the background. He's he's very cute. He's he's an adorable adorable cat. Adam? Oh, you're so precious. He loves showing off his little butt, but he's so cute. I'm gonna shower, try to wake up a little bit, get all this sweat off me. I want to show you guys the fit. I am literally standing on my couch right now, but I wanted to show you guys the fit. These bike shorts are from Gymshark. They are extremely tight, but I feel like they make my waist look snatched, you know? They look so much more snatched than I would think. This sports bra is from Target, from the All In Motion brand. It is honestly a Lululemon dupe. I have a Lululemon bra just like this, and the Target one is just as nice, and it's way cheaper. Anyway, I'm gonna go shower now. It's Friday night. We are going out downtown to downtown Ann Arbor and I want to show you guys the fit. These shorts are these like linen blend shorts from Target from the brand A New Day. This top is from Abercrombie, I believe. I don't know if you can still get this, but it's also like a linen blend. There's the makeup. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'll probably take some clips of some of the bars that we go down to, down to in downtown. It has been um, several days since you last saw me, and it's partly just because we were going around, didn't want to have my phone or camera out the entire time, so I tried to keep it to a minimum of how much I was filming, but I am back home now. It is like almost two o'clock in the afternoon, and I have been working all day, but I wanted to take a second to just like put on some makeup and feel a little bit more like myself. I have been packing for a little weekend trip that we're gonna go on. We're going to the west side of Michigan because one of our family friends has a lake house like on Lake Michigan. So I'm really excited about that. I've been packing pretty much the last two weeks. I was pre-filming a little bit so that I wouldn't have to worry about it while I was there and I am also um 
I also have to film another video today after I finish filming this. I'm almost done packed, but I do have to pack my makeup and I need to film one more video before I do that. I need to film my shop, my stash video. So I was just gonna do that the rest of the day. I've already picked out my project pan items and you should have already seen that and you're probably gonna see the shop my stash as well before you see this video so please go check that out the project pan update was extremely exciting this this uh this time around but yeah so i really wanted to incorporate vlogs into my channel because i have quite a few trips planned the next couple months and i just i don't know i wanted to do a little more I am planning on maybe doing these like once every couple months when I feel the need to. This weekend was amazing. I am so glad I got to see my friends from Denver. They are so lovely. Literally the second he walked in the door, he said that I looked fit and that like he meant it as a compliment because we saw each other like in April, I think. And then he said that within the last couple months i seem much more fit than i did before which was a compliment because i've been going to orange theory pretty much four times a week the past couple months and i don't know it's just nice to see my hard work paying off and let me be abundantly clear i was never an athletic person growing up like hated playing soccer hated doing a lot of things honestly but especially like sports i was just never sporty i was very much the like math and science olympiad kid so i was never active and then when the pandemic hit i pretty much was like just like sitting there and i was gaining a lot of weight um partly because of my iud and birth control partly because of just we weren't going outside a lot and I just felt not my best and so I decided to try and join a gym. Gyms never worked for me because I always got a little uh, intimidated by all the gym equipment and I don't know I just I never found myself going to the gym when I just had a gym membership but I tried out Orange Theory because well actually my doctor said that she really liked her Orange Theory and her Orange Theory classes so I was like oh that sounds like something I would like so I tried Orange Theory and I loved it and it it just works for me I'll schedule my classes to be pretty much right when I wake up. So I usually wake up at like 6.30. I'll schedule my classes for 7.15 so that when I wake up, I can't... Well, okay, so here's the thing. If you have the like highest membership, like the unlimited number of classes membership, it costs $12 to cancel a class if you cancel within like eight hours of the class so i schedule my class at night right before i go to bed and then the morning when i wake up i pretty much force myself to get out of bed so i don't have to pay those 12 dollars just because i felt lazy in the morning and that system has really been working for me i've been really liking like the workouts in general this month is marathon month and i have been pushing myself to run a little bit more in class as well and just building up my endurance and yeah i just i just generally really like the vibes i really like the coaches of my classes and you can go to any orange theory location it doesn't have to be the one that you signed up at so when i'm like traveling there are a couple in texas where i've traveled there are a couple in just like random places that i've been to so it's just nice to have that option um and even though it is pricey, like it's one of the pricier things I spend money on for myself. For reference, I I think the membership for the like elite membership is $180 a month, but that's unlimited classes. You can choose to do less if you'd like, but this is just what works for me. What I found is the best method for me to stay active. And I haven't technically lost any actual weight, like the, the number on the scale hasn't gone down, but my body is much more toned. I just feel healthier than I ever have in my life. And it just felt nice to like be recognized like that, even though it's only been a couple months since he's last seen me. Anyway, it was just really good seeing them. I hope they had a good time here. We went to a couple different places. We went to 
some places in downtown Ypsilanti, which is right next to Ann Arbor. We also went to downtown Ann Arbor a couple nights, and then we went to a we went to a couple places in downtown Detroit as well and one of our friends has been to Detroit a couple times from visiting us before but the other friend has never been to Detroit at all so we just wanted to show him the I don't know the city we walked down to the river we saw Canada across the way I'm really glad that we got to do that and it was just nice to be able to hang out with some friends for my birthday weekend and like I said this weekend we are going to western Michigan because our friends our family friends or my boyfriend's family friends um have a lake house right on the lake the the house is absolutely stunning I'm so excited to go they do this every year where they just kind of invite all their family friends for a weekend and it's it's pretty much just another weekend of drinking and laying on a beach so lots of alcohol consumption this week but I can justify it a little bit because of how much I've been working out but definitely not a lot I feel like after this my liver needs to take a very very long break I just wanted to feel a little bit more put together I have to go to the bank tonight and then we are leaving tonight for the trip and I I'm almost done packing. I think I already said this. I'm almost done packing. I just have to pack my makeup, but I have to film one more video before packing it up. I have to film my shop, my stash. But yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you guys are having a good week whenever this video goes up. I hope you guys enjoy these types of video, like videos. Please let me know if you do or don't. I want to include more vlogs, but I also feel kind of awkward, like, filming myself outside in public. And so it's been an adjustment for sure. I made sure to ask my friends if they were okay with being shown in the vlog at all, if they were okay with being in clips, and they said it was fine. One of my friends, he refinishes furniture, and his work is stunning and I will link him or I'll put his info in the description box because I absolutely love the furniture and the way he refinishes it it's very much just like stunning you should definitely check it out even if you're not in the mood for furniture he posts a lot of like before and afters and those are so satisfying to me so I'm not planning on vlogging any of this new weekend trip just because it's a lot of family friends and I mostly just want to relax and hang out with them. I've been trying to pre-film or pre-plan a lot of content for the months of September and October since I will be gone for a while. So if there are any types of videos you specifically want to see, please let me know. I've planned out a little bit, but I'm going to be gone for so long that I'll take all the ideas. But I also wanted to talk about how... A while ago, I not a while, but I said that part of my birthday haul, I bought the base bags for myself and I bought the weekender bag, which I just used or I'm using this weekend. So we'll see how that goes. I've like I said, I've packed most of it. The only thing I left I have to pack is my makeup and there's definitely room in the bag and I have quite a few different like summer options. So like shorts and t-shirts, two whole sweaters and two additional pair of shoes, two like dresses. So I have quite a bit of things in there, but it's getting pretty heavy. And I know that's one of the main critiques of the weekender bags. It's just that they are extremely heavy to carry around, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting like a ton of issues, especially because we're driving over to the west side of Michigan. So I'm not really worried about like having to carry it around an airport or anything. I'm having mixed feelings. There are definitely a couple bags from base that I'm like obsessed with, but there also seem to be a couple where I'm just not as, not as impressed. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I have to give it a little bit more of a chance, but I will show you guys everything I have in my bag right now once I'm done getting ready. I'm not planning on doing like a super heavy makeup look. I'm really just trying to focus on the products that I have in my project pan because I definitely want to hit pan on these two. I'm going to go in with this br blush on top. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. This is in the shade Rose Crush. It just looks like a really pretty 
rosy color. And I'm gonna use this Real Techniques stipple brush. I don't actually know the name of it, but it's, oh, it's the 071 brush. I actually haven't used this color yet because I bought one originally. I bought the shade like Pinch Me Pink, I think. And then I thought I lost it. So I bought another one because I wanted to try the formula. And then I found the first one that I bought, but I already had this too. So I figured I would keep both of them and I just haven't used this color yet, but that is so pretty. Stunning, stunning. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes and I will show you guys the base bag and how much I have in there and we'll call it there. I just wanted to show you guys the inside of this base bag. So I have everything in here. I have at least like three pairs of shorts and t-shirts. I have two whole sweaters. I have two beach cover-ups. I have a pair of sweatpants in here and I have like two to three dresses in here that are just like either casual or like we have one night where we all kind of dress up and we go out. I have my brushes, my makeup, and or this is actually my skincare, and then my makeup is gonna go in here. These are all part of the Ally Glines makeup or makeup bag, the normal one I think, but I didn't want to have all of them together because the big bag itself takes up too much room and this I can kind of like move where I need to. And then on the bottom of this bag here, I have my flip-flops, my sandals for the night that we dress up. I have a steamer because some of my cover-up cover-ups and some of my outfit options are um, like linen and so I just wanted to make sure that I have something to get out the wrinkles. I have my packing cube of just all my bras, undies, socks and my bathing suits in here too. I have this purse that I got from Target. It's just a small black shoulder bag again for that night that we go out. The steamer comes with like a little hanger and I just figured I'd throw this in here in case they didn't have any extras. This holds quite a bit of stuff. I'm pretty impressed with how much it holds. It is extremely heavy though. Um, so I don't think I could carry this around for too long. I think it would be too heavy in the long run. So I do like it though. I like how I can separate things out and I like the, uh, I don't know, how, how compact it is. I feel like this is a lot of stuff and I feel like it all fit in here really nicely. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for me. I hope this was entertaining at the very least. Let me know what kind of vlogs you guys like, if you guys liked this at all, or if you would rather just have me stick to sit down videos. I don't know, I think vlogs are cool and I would like to make them, but I also feel like my life is pretty boring and like on the day to day, I'm really not doing a lot and I feel like that's maybe boring for other people to see, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. If you did like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I hope you guys are all having a great day today or week or month, whatever, whatever you guys are doing. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.